G'day friends and welcome back to Bush Rats. You're out here in the forest with young Lee. Uh, so today is the first day of spring and I thought we'd do something a little bit different. We're gonna go hunting for wildflowers. Looking for a few more native orchids. Uh, so spring's usually the good time to go and what better day than the first day of spring. So like I said, we've got my trusty book here. If you wanna get into your orchids or your native wildflowers, check out Bob Littlelow, Native Orchids, the guide to. It's probably the best book I've seen on them. It's got areas to look for, pictures, everyone likes a good picture. Um, descriptions, so there's a, there's a fair few of them. And we're gonna go for a bit of a cruise around today in this little section here and see how many we can sort of find. So with that said, let's hop to it, let's go searching. So we're on the hunt. Now these kind of things you can just you can find them all across WA. Um, different ones grow in different areas, different conditions. Uh, where I'm from, we usually sort of look for she oak sort of forests. Um, they kind of like the uh, the needles that they drop, and sandy sort of areas are real good as well. So, uh, but don't let that deter you. If, if you find a nice gravelly sort of area, there might be something different in there. Uh, some of them push through, uh, do well in different areas. So. We've just found our first one. Let's check it out. All right, little blue one here. Uh, this one here is called a silky blue. Uh, it's one of the early sort of spring ones that sort of pop up. Nice blue colour. I'll put a few close-ups of it uh, up now. Yeah, five petals. Kind of looks like a fairy, a pink fairy one as well. So we'll check them out next. Little one here as well. Just a couple over there. Uh, yeah, real nice little flower. So just sort of got like the hair-like stem. I've seen the pictures there. Uh, not too small, decent sized little one, so they're not too hard to spot. Yeah, let's look for another one. All right, the next little ones we got here. This is called a pink fairy. Put some pictures up of that one in a minute. It's a nice little cluster here. Good thing about the pink fairies is you find one, uh, you're probably going to find a hundred of them. So they're, they're kind of everywhere scattered through here. You sort of see one every step. But similar looking to the other ones. The thing with orchids is you go hunting far and wide uh, looking for them. And then the minute you sort of spot one and you work out what it looks like and what sort of size it is, then you can't help but notice them everywhere. So this is one of the first ones I sort of started noticing. Pretty little flower. See what else we can find. Here we have another quite common one, which usually doesn't come out till a bit later. This one here is called a cowslip. Cow's lip, cowslip. Over here. This one is out quite early, which is good to see, but usually you'll see fields of these everywhere. So, put a couple of nice photos up now. Yeah, three nice ones so far. There's plenty more out here. Let's see what else we can find. Here's a prime example as to why you have to keep coming out every uh, week or so to find all these things. Got two little ones here. One that just the leaf has started to come out, which I think is a little midgy orchid. Could be a bunny. Um, this one here is the main one. This could either be, I think this is a jug orchid. It's hard to tell why it's not fully open. I'll put some pictures up of this one. Uh, we'll be sure to come back in a couple weeks and see what this thing here is. It's the little things you've got to appreciate. We 
just found a fully open jug orchid. There he is there. Same leaves as the last one. But they obviously take a little while to get fully open. Nice looking specimen. Alright, so we'll be sneaking under this uh, grass tray, black boy tray, whatever you want to call it. There's little sneaky bunkers, these ones. This here is a little dancing spider orchid, could be a leaping. We'll get some close ups of that one there. Might have to check the book on this one. These are my favourite kind of ones, the spider orchids. Um, come in a range of colours and varieties, a lot of white ones, a lot of big ones, small ones. Some of them are super rare, they only grow in sort of small areas there, so you gotta get out about and sort of explore for them. Yeah, a bit of a hot spot this one. Definitely seen a few different types, so we've got a little while to go. Turns out that was called a dancing spider orchid. Check it out, it's a good book. Oh, here's another good find. This one here is called a donkey orchid. Kind of looks like a bee orchid. There's a few different varieties of these. Like I said, get, get the book, it'll, it'll, it'll tell you what's, what's what and where's what and how's who. So, these are a cool looking little one. You sort of get little fields of them. There's another couple just here. I'll get some pictures up in a second. Yeah, a bit of a diverse little area, this one. I'll, I'll run you through the area that we're in in a minute. So just sort of show you where to look, what to look for, what's a good area. Like I said, these things can be anywhere. You get them, of the, the spot you find a lot of them is just on the side of the road where they've been grading, um, along the side of gravel tracks. So keep them eyes peeled. But once you sort of know what you're looking for, you come across them quite often. So as you can see, the sort of area I'm in uh, went through a burn off not too long ago. A lot of dead foliage on the top, not much sort of ground cover, it's all just sort of starting to come back through. All the leaves on the trees are all still dead. Um, but the grass trees, they're thriving, so they'll have a good burn off. Um, so where you want to be sort of looking, I find the best spots to sort of check if you want to you find a nice log on the ground that's been through a burn off, a lot of ash and stuff. She oak forests are real good. Um, and certain orchids, they only sort of pop up after a fire's been through. So that's, that's the main reason I'm out here today. Because I'm trying to find one that I haven't seen before. Um, and I know this spot got burnt off only six months ago or so. So hopefully we can find him. Let's keep looking. So just behind this leaf here, we have a little midgy orchid. So they have these little lily pad like leaves. There's a few of them popping up there. This one's just started to flower, as you can see. Could be that easy to miss, it's about the size of your thumbnail. So, place to look each where and everywhere. I'll oh, we'll get a couple close ups, maybe see if we can find a more open sort of one. You can look a little to the right. Another spider orchid. So this is the sort of territory you want to look for. Check under all the logs. Got pink fairies everywhere out here. Around these burnt out sort of areas. We just found another good little one here. Sitting down. Out. This little one here is called a banded hood orchid. Got like a little hood, and little stripes on it. This is probably one of the first ones that sort of start popping up in the season straight after winter. So he's getting a bit long in the tooth, this one. Good to see them still out. I'll get a couple close-ups of him. Yeah, usually between this one here and there's another one called a snail, which I haven't seen yet. Hopefully we can form one of them. And they're just sort of the first ones you start seeing. So good introduction into it. Spotted a couple of snails in the bushes. This little one here is called a snail orchid. 
that to focus. Some little antennas on it. That one looks like the little banded green hood ones. One there. That little dude over the back here. Get a couple of nice photos of them up now. Yeah, these are another one of those early in the season sort of ones. So these are the sort of the first ones you keep your eyes out for. Um, around the middle of winter these start popping up. Yeah. Another one for the list. Alright guys, finally found the one we came here looking for. There's one here, one there, one there. So these are called a red beak. Real cool looking little thing. Bit of maroon, bit of cream, a couple of flowers coming off the one thing. I'll bring it down a bit closer. So that's them there. A few of them around. Now usually when you're cruising around in an area that hasn't been burnt off, you'll find a lot of these. So these are the leaves. I've seen them a few years in a row, but they need a fire to go through for them to flower. So yeah, exciting. One more off the list. I reckon that should do it for today. There's my car there. I've only covered I don't know, maybe a few hundred meters that way, up and around. So we haven't gone too far, but a nice diverse little spot. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for coming on that bush walk with me. Uh, if you had a good time and you've made it this far through the video, consider giving us a thumbs up and a subscribe uh, for plenty more action fishing, hunting, camping, shit, flowers. Like I said, check out this book if you're interested in learning in the native orchids. Um, absolute lifesaver. Like I said, it's got pictures, descriptions, locations, uh, everything you need to get out there and um, start looking for some native orchids. So hopefully this one's inspired you to keep one eye on the ground at all times when you're out bush um, and just enjoy the little things. There's a lot of pretty flowers out there to check out while you're out camping, bushwalking, mountain bike, fly fishing, jetpack skiing. That's it guys, first day of spring, done and dusted, and we will see you next time out on the tracks. Take it easy. Yoo.